I'm going to show you a little trick where you can really up the video quality image on this little bad boy and produce something that mimics 4K 60 FPS. You ready? It's not all about what you have. It's more about what you can do with what you have. Now, I've started this Mavic Mini series all the way from the beginning that shows you everything. How to calibrate your compass, your IMU, first flight, sticks controls, going all the way down to cinematic footage, to filters, how filters work, how to use them. I even did video shooting with filters to demonstrate it for you. This video takes into consideration that you've seen all of my prior videos and you're at the point where you want to squeeze more out of your DJI Mavic Mini if you haven't seen those videos, go through my DJI Mavic Mini playlist up here, scroll through, look for the one that most interests you or that you want to know most about and click and watch that video. First things first, you will need some filters. If you want to do any professional work with any drone, you need filters. In this case, I'm using F-Stop Labs filters. I picked them up and so far they've been nothing but positive for me so far. I haven't used it much, but yes, I do like them. And today it looks like a hmm, ND16 day. It's pretty hot, it's pretty sunny out there. So I'm gonna drop ND16 on there. If it's very bright, then you wanna start with an ND8 or maybe an ND16. I'm starting with an ND16. Our ISO, ideally we want it at 100, but if that's too dull because the filter is too dark and the image is too dark, we can always bump it up to ISO 200, not a big deal. My exposure right now, look at the bottom right. It says plus 0.3 plus 0 0.03 that means it's a little bright according to what this camera is saying so we can go to ISO 100 but then it becomes a little too dark which is minus 0 0.7 now if your image is a little dark you can always brighten it up when you're editing however if it's too bright if we go to ISO 200 and we get plus three, then it's hard to recover details when stuff is too bright. So you're always better off filming things when it's a little dark and then brightening it up. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at ISO 200. My shutter speed is going to be 1 120th. The reason why it's 1 120th is because you will be filming in 1080p at 60 FPS. You can go to 2.7K, which is a better resolution, but you're limited to 30 fps and i don't want to use 30 fps because there's something about 60 fps that's just so mm. not only the fact that if you want to slow it down it's great but there's just something about the way that footage looks that's just so enticing so i'm going to go to a lower resolution which is 1080p but i want the highest possible frame rate which is 60 and double my frame rate will be my shutter speed which will be 1 120. I'm going to use primarily these same cinematic shots that I gave you guys in this video here. Check this video if you haven't the same shot. put your DJI Mavic Mini in cinematic mode. Now that you got yourself some beautiful cinematic shots in cinematic mode in 60 frames per second, let's head back to the computer and that's where the magic begins. 
really bring out this 4K feel and look to your DJI Mavic Mini footage, you will need either a PC or a Mac, whether it be a laptop or a desktop. Filmora 9 is the editing software that I use for YouTube for the last three going on four years. And now most video editors have the same features. The basic editing software that you have on your computer might be able to do the job as well. First things first, as you can see here, I already imported all of my footage here. That's the first thing you need to do. You need to import your footage in order to use it. Now I have already brought my footage down and cut it into smaller clips because if I'm recording for five, six minutes, the entire five, six minutes is not going to look good. So I just cut the pieces that really look good in the video. And that's the pieces that I want to share with you guys. On top of that, if you look at the bottom, I added music to the clip because music always enhances things and makes it more interesting and appealing to watch. This is where the magic begins. Go to properties on this clip. You can see here that the resolution is 1920 by 1080p, which is the maximum output resolution that the DJI Mavic Mini can output at. So that's what we're stuck with. How am I gonna get 4K out of this is probably what you're asking. Well, when it's time to export, that means it's time to render or create this clip that has the music, everything that you see here. I usually hit export or you can look for a render button to make the video render. I mean, you can render this video in 30 frames. You can render it in 60 frames a second. Well, we filmed it in 60, so I wanna render it in 60. But now when I set the resolution this high, it's going to output a file that's 4K, even though that file is 1080p, the original file. So what you call that is basically called up res, where you're upping the resolution when you're processing the final video, it's called up res. So we're going to up res this, we're just gonna click OK. We've got 60 FPS and we're just going to click export. And that's pretty much it. When your videos finish processing or finish rendering, then you will have a technically 4K video. If this video was helpful and it really helps you to take your work or, or your craft or just the, f the, the quality of your production to the next level or it was just beneficial for you to watch, to see, to know that you are able to do this stuff with your DJI Mavic Mini if you were thinking about doing any kind of semi-professional or professional work. Then make sure you hit thumbs up, um, hit the like button till it turns blue of course. If you're new here, subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when I release new DJI Mavic Mini videos and DJI Mavic Air videos as well. Share this video with anyone who you know 
flies drones. I will catch you guys whenever I can. Big shout out to Autonomous Drone Services and MadMixTube.com for providing us with the equipment to make these videos possible. I'm still giving away six DJI Mavic 2 Pros or Zooms. Head over to my Patreon account, donate a dollar, become a patron, and automatically you're entered to win a chance to win one of six of those drones. Guys, let's make this happen. Come on, support me and help me support you.